How to give back during the pandemic. Five ways to safely help your community. Number one, Be My Eyes. Be My Eyes is a free app that connects blind and low vision people with sighted volunteers and company representatives for visual assistance through a live video call. Number two, shovel your neighbor's driveway. If you have elderly people living in your neighborhood, help them by shoveling their driveway when the snow comes. Number three, participate in virtual runs. Charity runs are a great way to get fit and raise money for a cause that is close to your heart. Hi there, my name is Andrew. I'm 24 years old and I am the son of a cancer survivor. My mother was diagnosed when I was, well, right when I was born, actually. Um, my first memories of her are of her being in a hospital bed surrounded by my brothers and father. She was expected to die before I would reach kindergarten. Thankfully, that didn't happen. She's still here today, and it's something I always think about, that I was so close, you know, to growing up without her. And weirdly enough, this thing that was meant to keep us apart actually brought us together. Uh, one thing we love to do is is charity, charity runs, you know, for cancer especially. Um, every year it's kind of become our tradition. You know, when we do these charity runs, when we're surrounded by these these other cancer survivors, it's it's a weird feeling, you know. It's, it's, it's just the amount of strength you feel when you're there, I can't describe it. And just thinking about my mom, that that's something I always carry with me and I, I'll carry with me for my whole life, is, you know, is, is the inspiration I get from her. You know, so many times in my life when I'm feeling down or when I just need that extra push, I think about everything my mom went through just to raise me. So that's my story. I just wanted to share with you. Thank you. Number four, find a pen pal. Writing letters to seniors can help them feel less isolated. It also engages their minds by reading and writing back. Here's how you can send a letter to a senior in London. Number five, share encouraging messages. Frontline workers are being tested physically and mentally. Give back by sending them encouraging messages. Health Hero Hotline is a great resource you can use to send an encouraging message to a frontline worker without having to leave your home.